In my faith, the good times, they come and they go. And the bad have a similar flow. I do seek God to be a light, to be holy, but all the while running for my testimony. I lead a Bible study at school. I do various tasks to pass along biblical rule. These times I promise they grow me, so how am I still running for my testimony? If God appeared to me the way he did Saul, saying, why are you persecuting me? If God appeared to me the way he did Saul, in what ways would I still be guilty? I run for my testimony as I do many things right. I run for my testimony right in the heart of the body of Christ. It's easy to celebrate others and rejoice in the battles they've won or give my time and wealth to somebody else while avoiding personal intimate reflection. I run from my testimony because it's gross, sick, unholy. I run from my testimony fearing the burn of righteous eyes on me. I run from my testimony as I do many things right. I run from my testimony right in the heart of the body of Christ. These words are not easy to write. My flesh has a way of burying sin, and to bring the unseen to the light is a fight that I lose again and again. My perseverance broke down, defeated. My lungs a vacuum, completely depleted, but there was just one simple thing that I needed to be shot with the red-hot blood of my Jesus. I forget that it's the blood of the Lamb. I forget that it's the blood of the Lamb in the words of our testimony that combats Satan's condemning attacks and renders him powerless and defeated before me. It's time I aim the gospel inward, the double-edged sword that cuts flesh for my spirit, and for, take pride in the way Jesus saved me, proclaiming it loud so all can hear it. To Satan, get the hell off my family, and to every brother and sister down and gloomy, you're defeated by the blood of the Lamb and the collective power of our testimony. I was running from the power of my testimony to break the devil off my back and bring life to those around me bound by similar attacks. I was running from the power of my testimony to present the smiling face of Christ as he holds me in my weakness, hands still ripe from his sacrifice. I was running from the power of my testimony to give me the depth of relationship that I sought. I'm making up my mind that Jesus gets nothing less with me than the valued possession that he bought. Many of us run from our testimony, the parts of us that need redemption the most. There's a glory that Jesus deserves that only comes from covering our worst. Let's not hold God's redemptive power at bay. The Holy Spirit seeks to lead our growing. It's time to be laid bare before our God and make Him Lord over our testimony. Ridiculous.